Winkle, you silly otter. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm leaping like a salmon. That's great, Periwinkle. I learned the names of all the fish here because I'm going to grow up to be a scientist. Just like you and Uncle Shellington. Well then, this is the perfect vacation spot for you. All the native creatures and plants in the Great Lakes region live in harmony relying on each other for food and shelter. It's a perfectly balanced ecosystem. But, Mum, it doesn't look so perfect. Oh, I don't understand. It's usually so lovely here. I wonder what happened. It was Carl! Carl? What kind of fish is that? A selfish one. He moved in here, chased most of the other fish away, and ate all of the plants. Even worse, he's still at it. Yikes. No, and now there's hardly enough grass for me to nest in. He won't stop eating, I tell ya. Well, let me try and talk to him. Uh, excuse me, Carl. Could you please not eat so much? It's making it quite difficult for the other animals around here. That's their problem. I'm gonna eat as much as I want. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. You think that wasn't nice? Carl just stole my food, and I'm hungry. Hello, H2O. What secrets do you hold for me today, hmm? Hydrology log with Lakuchi River. According to my salinity meter, the water here is very salty. Too salty for a freshwater river. How can you get so excited about a scurvy batch of water and a salty meter? I'm a hydrologist, Quasi. Water is my thing. Aye, but I'm a pirate, and I was hoping for a daring adventure on the high seas. <laughs> Not stomping in the low mud. Salty water could mean big trouble for the animals and plants that live here. It might even mean there's a ghost forest. A ghost forest? Now you're talking. It must be full of goblins and spooks and supernatural scallywags. All hiding in the cobwebbed trees. Just waiting to jump out and scare a pirate right out of his boat. Actually, Quasi, a ghost forest is... Uh, uh... Shh! We'll need to go quietly. No engines running. <laughs> so we can sneak up on those ghostly landlubbers. What? Quasi, wait up! <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! The ghosts stole all the leaves from the trees! Quasi, a ghost forest isn't haunted. It's what happens when salt water floods a forest. The trees get sick and the animals leave to find fresh water. Oh no! That sounds worse than haunted. It's not all bad. Plants and animals that like salty water find new homes here. But no ghosts. If there aren't any ghosts, then what was that? We'd better find out. Come on. Get lost. The swamp is gator turf. Not anymore. This swamp's full of salt water now. And salt water is shark turf. Yeah. Those gators and sharks are squaring off for a serious rumble. We better sound the octo and... Stop. There's no need to argue. This swamp has always been home to alligators. Uh, yeah, you tell them. Uh, who asked you? Uh, no one asked me. It's simply a fact. But another fact is this is a ghost forest now. So I'm afraid you alligators will have to leave. Wait, what? No way. Uh, uh, that. Get out of me. Uh, 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 wait, uh, I can explain. Averse, you scallywags. Uh, Tarnation, are you bothering these nice birds? I was just so hungry. I know the feeling, brother. <gasps> oh, Ronnie, I knew you'd never leave me hungry in a strange place. <laughs> so, where's Lonnie? I, I thought, thought he was, was with you. you. Uh, no offense, but these eggs are mighty big for a couple of pint-sized birds like you. 
Who are you calling pint-sized? We ain't big enough for water dickups. Besides, those aren't our eggs. Those are Katie's. Katie wouldn't happen to be a very large Nile crocodile, would she? Yes, she is. Let's my tail out of here. <laughs> Easy now, ma'am. We aren't interested in your eggs. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Not helping. <laughs> Why did you build your nest near a dangerous Nile crocodile? For safety. The most predators don't dare come near crocs. <laughs> That's right. And Katie here lays her eggs on shore, but has to stay in the water to keep from getting too hot. So we help guard her nest and warn her when predators try to steal her eggs. <laughs> uh, you mean like now? Stop, thieves! Help, help, help me! I am helping! Helping myself to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Katie. My eggs! <laughs> Two hearts! Ooh. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. We'll get your eggs back. You need to get yourself back in the water to stay cool. Let's go! Hey, you'll want to stay near the water and protect your other eggs. Speaking of which, where's Ronnie and Donnie? Get away! <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie. What? They weren't using those eggs. There they are. Huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> Give them back. Those eggs don't belong to you. That was much easier than I thought it would be. Hydrology log, Paraguay River, Brazil. All the rain is making the river water rise very fast, and it's spreading into the nearby flatland. Before the rainy season started, this floodplain was all dry land. Hopefully, by mapping the changes in this river, I can figure out how much flooding there'll be when the next storm hits. Which may be sooner rather than later. Oi, honey, you'd better hurry. That next storm is moving in fast. Almost done. Uh, hey, Bonnie, you, you better seek shelter from that storm. Uh, yes, yes, soon. <laughs> I know, I know. Storm's coming. But as any good hydrologist knows, a delay between a lightning flash, one, two, three, and a thunderclap means the storm is far away because light travels faster than sound. It's only a problem if thunder and lightning come at the same time. Like now. Whoa! <laughs> oh, just feel that wind. What an incredible force of nature. <laughs> Agent Barney, report please. Are you all right? We can't see you on screen. He's not responding, Captain. Hmm. I think he might be in trouble. Barney is a sturdy sea dog. I mean, sea monkey. We'd better investigate, just to be sure. I've traced Barney's octa watch signal to the Paraguay River in Brazil. That river completely floods the area during the rainy season, which is right now. Shiver me whiskers. Barney could be in deep trouble, or at least deep waters. Don't worry. Tweak and I have been tracking the Brazilian rainstorms in the Octo Ray. And we're real close to his location now. Perfect. Dashy, Tweak, take a break from storm tracking and track down Parney. Octonauts, let's do this. Hello, H2O. I must say, you are simply splashy. Dashy to Parney. Aren't you supposed to be in the Arabian Desert? 
I am. I mean an oasis, see? An oasis is a place in the desert that actually has enough water to support plant and animal life. That's amazing. There's not a lot of water in the desert, but I'm determined to map all of it into my hydrology log. Sorry to cut your plan short, but according to my storm tracker, there's a big sandstorm heading your way. It could be dangerous. My goodness, that is not good. Gather up your gear and I'll be there soon to pick you up. Thank you, Dashi. Huh, such a pity. I haven't finished my research yet. Huh? Water? Why didn't I see you before? Hmm. Huh. I should have just enough time to check this out before Dashi gets here. Huh? huh? That lake must be further away than it looks. Most peculiar. It seems I'm still no closer than when I started. <gasps> oh no! I forgot all about the sandstorm. No time to get back to the oasis. So there's only one thing to do. Hunker down! Okay, Pani, let's go. Pani? Dashi to Pani, do you read me? Where can he be? Oh, well, I seem to have weathered the storm, but Dashi must be very worried. Pani to Dashi! Can you hear me? Hmm, must have gotten sand in it. Oh, nearly out of water. And there's no shade. Uh, guess I'll have to make my own shade. <gasps> Aha! <sighs> there. That should do the trick. Now to find some water. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on. Everyone join in. Right. Let's go. 